This feels like it's a boss arena. Wait, this is Dark Samus' theme. From Prime 2. Hey, buddy! So how are you even existing? I don't know, I'm gonna scan you. No hard feelings about killing you before last time, right? Okay. Disrupted by hyper mode attacks. Gee, it's a good thing I can only do that those ones, huh? Pure hail and energy highly unstable. Hyper mode attacks are capable of disrupting her. Dark Samus is capable of generating echoes of herself to aid her in battle. So use increased firepower and attack as distractions while she replenishes her energy. They should be destroyed immediately. She's capable of absorbing energy from face to replenish her own. Gotcha. Probably the copy that she's spawning. I guess very wrong there, unfortunately. Alright. New phase. That's pretty funky. So it looked like the one I was attacking was the real one. Cool, I guess right that time. When did you spawn copies? Not that one. Not that one. I lost track of the real one. Oh, I thought I blew up a fake one, but I just killed the real one. Okay, well, that was a neat little fight. Is this a phase two? Dark Samus repulsed. You're so repulsive, Dark Samus. Okay, so now you become this thing. Oh, the Aurora unit itself. Okay. Hatch on its head. Oh, I thought it was saying latch on its head. Or like something about damage cord to sever cables. been fused with the bio since Dark Samus. Will combat shield protect most of the unit? Weak spawn has been detected at the cable junctions. Damaging this unit's core will expose this point. The core itself is protected by an armored hatch. Tentacle ports can be damaged to initiate stunning cerebral feedback pulses within the target. While incapacitated, the hatch will be unprotected and be able to be pulled open. Okay, so... Basically, attack these things.
see, here's the annoying thing here. I think no matter what you do, you have an automatic set health bar. Oh lord, okay. No wonder why you have an automatic self help bar. this thing back. Thank you. Do the Dark Samuses, like, provide any, like, health or- Yes, they do. Okay. Where the hell are they, though? Oh, one's running around as a ball. That's why I couldn't find it. Please give me your things again. Phase three, okay. Sure. The weak point that is vulnerable to attack. I mean, you're hard to find. It doesn't- it keeps, like, unlocking on to this guy. Whoa! Hi! Go away. I'm, I'm not really paying attention. I'm like- he's so close to death. That I'm just like- I'm just going to wing it. I think one more charge shot will probably do him in too. If I can like hit act actually hit him with most of the charge weapons. I could probably be doing this better, but whatever. Aurora Unit 313 defeated. And 
Samus is dead. And Dark Samus is also dying. Again. And Samus is not dead. But now she's cringing. Wait, how did that work? Why did destroying Dark Samus destroy- Oh, because Dark Samus was the one who put it in me. Alright, okay, that makes more sense then. I'm gonna have to manually escape, aren't, aren't I? That's a Metroid staple. Are they gonna get rid of that too? Exploding planets and running away from them is kind of Samus's thing. No, it's just we don't even get to see. Oh, but goodbye, Leviathan ship. Damage reports coming in. We've lost 37% of the fleet. Half of the surviving ships are reporting heavy casualties. Sir, we've confirmed the wormhole has disappeared. All the Leviathans are gone. The crisis is over. What about Samus? Negative, sir. No contact. Don't worry, Samus did it just fine. We don't even get to fucking escape, and also she's just in a different suit now. Sir, what is this ending? We don't even get to escape! The planet exploded when we beat the boss, and we don't even get to escape! Why is this game ending in Skytown? <laughs> oh, she's remembering Rundus. And that she had to kill him. And, yep. Yeah, Gora sure existed too. I think that was his name. You, do you really have to remember her? Her face is just so annoying. Are they gonna, like, show up here as, like, ghosts? Because Samus remembers them? Or something? Is that what the scene's building up to? Or she's just reminiscing? Okay. I- <laughs> We didn't even get an escape sequence! I understand they're kind of overdone, but at the same time, they're a Metroid staple! And you had the planet explode! Oh my god, this game just... I, ha I had a fun time with it. I had fun, but I really cannot see myself ever playing this game again. It really just fundamentally did not grasp how to be a Metroid game. And even, 
And even if I ignore everything else and just focus on, like, what this game is, say this isn't Prime 3, this is just... This isn't a Metroid game, this is just some other game that just existed like this. It didn't have a legacy to live up to, it wasn't built on Prime 1 or 2, it was just its own thing. I would still say it's annoying because of how... handholdy it is and how it just, like... It doesn't seem to know whether it wants to be a linear game or an exploratory game. So it has all this exploratory bonus content, but that none of it means anything. Nate Bildorf, you don't mean anything anymore. <laughs> like... <sighs> what even are the ship missiles for? There wasn't even an end of game, like, dog ship fight thing. What are they for? Why did I collect them? Ugh. I don't know. I had fun with this game. It genuinely did improve on things. Hyper mode was cool. I like that it's oh that for the Wii remote the the game that was on the Wii they simplified what like the beams and what weapons you can use. It really cut down on like the experimentation because like while I like the different beams in the other games, the limited ammo of Prime Two and just how many different options there were in Prime One with all like. However, in the vast regions of space, this victory is just a twinkle of a star, spreading the light of hope through the darkness. Okay, thank you, random narrator, cutting in the middle of nowhere. But Prime 1 had, like, four different beams, each with their own version of the charge shot. Um, missiles, super missiles, bombs, power bombs, etc., etc. There was... While I do like the larger arsenal, I feel like it kind of led to too much experimentation, which could be frustrating, and also just... Combat in this game was a lot better than in previous games. Not perfect, but, like, so much more manageable. Especially thanks to Hyper Mode. Like, I feel like it understood that a lot better. And the boss fights in this game... were so much better. Like, even though I hated Metroid Hatcher and that other random thing for being incredibly unclear... Um, there is this, like, the boss fights in this game were so much better than Prime 2 that it's not even funny, and probably it has the best bosses of the Prime trilogy in general, although I do like some of the Prime 1 bosses uh, still a decent bit, like, Prime 3 had the best bosses, they were really damn good. So, like, in a general sense, the game was fine and it was fun, but it was unbelievably frustrating at how linear and how handholdy it was. So much so that in the end, it just stopped being fun at times. Like, I was having fun in spite of just the frustrations that were there. So, I don't know. And I feel like, again, like, it just didn't... My theory, again, is that, like, because they were trying to make it to they were trying to make it for a Wii audience who weren't experienced gamers. They were trying to ease players into, like, what an experience... what a Metroid experience was. I would still say that failed because it never wound up taking the gloves off. It, ne it, it eased you in, but it never stopped easing. So by the end of the game, it was still uber handholdy. And that is frustrating. I can accept handholdy nature, especially in an overly linear game like this, if it will take the gloves off, but it never did, and I just... Ugh. This game rubs me the wrong way. I'm sorry. I still like it. It's not a terrible game. It's functional. It has fun moments. But the core design philosophy is just a problem to me. So, ultimately, I don't know. I'm not happy with the game. And I think that sucks. I don't know. Hey look! I'm pretty certain that's Silux's ship. The guy from Prime Hunters who's gonna be in Prime 4. Ooh, spoopy.
but there we go. Difficulty normal, percentage complete 100%, total time 13.32. GG. In the end, hey, I, I did 100% the game, so... There's absolutely no reason for me to not save because I got 100% and I don't want to play the game again. So, that's it for Metroid Prime 3, and that's it for Metroid Prime Trilogy. So, that's pretty neat. I never have to open this thing again. It's just kind of weird. Look at all my mosquitoes and all my backup saves. Look at look at that time difference. 30 more minutes in Prime th in Prime 3 to get 100% versus Prime 1 13 like 30 minutes less for 73%. That's the difference of how linear and short and like whatever. Anyways, also, in case you're wondering, I figured out what these were for. They're for this or whatever. You can get, like, gallery stuff? The Metroid Prime 1 fusion suit is in this? I didn't even know that. Cool. Ship bumper stickers. I cannot afford this item. What am I missing? I don't have any of the green things. Oh. Yeah, green things are like friend friend things. And that's why I can't get any of those things. I can get all these things. So that's what all these things were for at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah. They're neat, I suppose, but I don't have friends on this, so I can't really get everything. I'll just buy all these, sure. But yeah, that's... Prime, I don't have much else to say, really. It was what it was. have friend vouchers, so I can't get all those ones. Am I even gonna look at these? I don't know. Also, this might this finale might have been two episodes for all I know. I didn't really wasn't really closely paying attention to everything else. Man, I kind of I wouldn't have been able to get it, though, because I wouldn't have had any of the things, but, like, I kind of wish I checked this option beforehand, because, like, having the fusion suit in Prime 1 would have been really cool. That was a bonus that only wasn't, that wasn't available unless you connected it to Metroid Fusion in, like, on the GameCube. I didn't know it was in Prime Trilogy at all. I could get this. I could get this if I just had any friends at all. 
Yeah, I can't get any of these because I don't have the I don't have friend things, which kind of sucks, but whatever. And I mean, I could get all the music things, but like, I have to manually select every single one of them. But yeah. Either way, Prime tri Prime 3, least favorite. I don't think I'm going to want to play the game again, unless they significantly change it. Because, like, it feels, like, fundamentally pr problematic to me. Overall, Prime Trilogy, I'm glad I finished it. And who knows, maybe... Maybe I did... Well, what would I call this? Like, a summoning ritual. Maybe Prime 4 is going to happen now in 2023. Or at least a trailer that's more than just a logo will happen in 2023. And, like, me playing all these games will have, like, caused this. <laughs> Not really, but, like, I don't know. It, it'll be, it would be really funny if there was, like... If this was, like... If it turned out that way, you know? I have now bought Meta Ridley. He's mine. But, yeah, um, I am looking forward to Prime 4 now, very much so. I think there are lessons to learn from all three of these games on what to do and what not to do, as well as other games that aren't Metroid. And I'm glad I played it, and I'm looking forward to Prime 4. At some point, I'll also play Prime Hunters. Hell, you guys, for all I know, you guys will have seen it. I don't know. Because, like, I'm debating, like, maybe I could do Prime Hunters later in 2023, but then upload it as Prime 2 is going up or something like that. I don't know. Something weird like that. I don't know. Wouldn't be the first time I've done things out of order. It's just an option. It's a thought. I have all... It's like I said earlier, in, way back in Prime 2, I have all of these games. I have run out of the silver credits. If only I did slightly more things, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know why I'm doing this. I'm filling out time. I'm going to end the episode pretty soon, don't worry. I can listen to Pounds of Beef. And it immediately stops. Okay, you can't... That's just kind of disappointing. But, yeah. Um... I don't know. I'm... Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for putting up with all this Metroid stuff. There might be more Metroid. There is going to be more Metroid. I have... I own Metroid Zero Mission, Samus Returns, Super, and Fusion, and Other M. I will play all of them at some point. Because I want to. Because honestly, I really do like Metroid, and I've wanted to get into it more and more as time has gone on. Every music track except these two. Yay. Yeah. All of you are on game start. It's all complete. So. That's me. Done with Prime. So, uh, yeah. Weird feeling, honestly, to be completely done with this. I got this game literally when it launched on the Wii U Virtual Console. It was, like, on sale for, like, $10, like, initially. Because, like, Wii games on the Wii 
Wii U were like $20, but like this game came out and was on sale for $10. So I got all of these games for $10. So all things considered, three and for a $3 game, basically, Prime 3 is not bad at all. I got a whole lot of mileage out of those $10. So as we enjoy the highlights of all the three Prime games, I'll be signing you guys out for now. I I did have a good time despite all the disappointment, but yeah, I am absolutely overwhelmingly disappointed with Prime 3. It's it's such a shame. It, it's just such a shame. But there's only so much you can do, especially with a game that's what, 15 years old? How long ago was 2007? I don't remember. But, I don't know. I had a good time, overall. I'm just... I'm, I'm just disappointed! I'm just disappointed! I know... I know I've already talked about all of it, but like, it really is just the vibe of Prime 3 to me. They corrupted the Prime! They corrupted Metroid Prime! <laughs> They corrupted what it means to be a Metroid Prime game, or a Metroid game in general. It's it's not even that it's too action-packed, it's not even that it's linear, it's that it just removed the elements of, like, engaging exploration. Honestly, now that I think about it, even giving you the map was kind of a downside to the game. Because it... It took away even further the need to, like, think about your environment and, like, what you were doing. So it's just, like, without that, like, I barely had to think at all about anything except Brio Ice, which I got so confused by that I had to look it up. So it's just... I don't know. In, in, I, I just, I don't know. Oh well. And that's all the demo footage. I, I think, I, I think I better call it quits here. This might have been two episodes, it probably was two episodes, future ulti can decide. Either way, for now, thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for putting up with all this. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing next, I mean, again, it's February for me. You guys are seeing this in what? September? It's gonna be a long ways out, so... I have zero clue what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm really doing after Kirby Triple Deluxe! <laughs> and I recorded that right before this Let's Play, so it's like, hmm... Triple Deluxe is fucking April. So, I don't know what's happening on my channel. All I know is that this came out, and I did it, and it's whatever. So, yeah. Until next time, whatever happens, happens! For all I fucking know, you're about to- <laughs> I'm about to continue this marathon with Metroid Prime 4 in three days. I don't fucking know. I sincerely doubt it. Either way, next time on Let's Play Anything, next time on Ulti Zeta Channel. Thank you guys so very much for watching this Let's Play of Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, and Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, and even Metroid Prime 1. But for now... I'll see you guys in the next time for my next Let's Play. I've been Ulti Zeta, and I am finally signing out of Metroid Prime Trilogy. <laughs>